We understand that most elements on your event page are not one size fits all. With Designer Pro, you have complete creative freedom to adjust the size, shape, color, spatial restrictions, and more to any element on your event page. Allow us to run down the list of options for you, starting with the background tab. To customize the background of an element or block, click into it on page. You see, when we click on the headline element, the layout tab refreshes to show us headline. When we click into the button, it shows button. Easy, right? Well, not so fast. This way of navigating Splash can be risky. Reason being, if I'm a new Splash designer and I attempt to click into this button and misclick, well, now you see I'm inside the button container, not the button itself. And as mentioned, I'm a new user, so I don't know where I am at all in relation to the rest of the elements on page, right? Instead, the better practice is to navigate via the Layout tab, click into the block that houses your element of choice, and using your mouse, hover over the specific element you'd like to edit. This will give you a much better understanding of how the Layout tab is organized in general and will ensure you are clicked into the exact element you want to edit. Once you've clicked into the element, the designer has a number of different ways they can customize its appearance. The first tab at the top of the Layout tab will be the Background tab. Inside the Background tab, the designer can change the background color using the options available in their palette or they can have the background be filled in with an image. Clicking into the background image area or upload will launch our image upload modal. You can upload a JPEG, animated GIF, PNG, or transparent PNG. Your only restriction is that it has to be under 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels in size. You can also explore our stock libraries of imagery powered by either Unsplash or Giphy. Once you select an image, you can have that image fill the background of the element in a number of ways using the quick editing features included here in the Layout tab. An entire block's background can also be customized by clicking into the block using the Layout tab and making the necessary edits using the Background tab. Background imagery for blocks can be a joy to experiment with as well, as there are various settings you can try out. You can also crop and remove the background image of a block or element right from here as well. No need to go back and forth from Photoshop anymore. We will dive deeper into the three types of imagery in Splash in part two, but feel free to explore more by entering this title in the search bar inside of Splash's support center.